Yeah. Yeah. You want to say anything? Who are you? It's her little schoolwork with um, Fit Mike. <laughs> right, work. Don't ask me anything incriminating. No, no, no. <laughs> Just keep it anywhere near you so um, it doesn't move. So, did you vote to the um, first one? How are you? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Documentary basically is about um, schoolwork. We're doing schoolwork. This project is um, recommended. Did you vote? I did. Who did you vote for? In the referendum, I voted to remain. Why is that? Because um, I think it's important that countries work together to protect each other. Um, I think if we were to leave, that we would worsen relationships with other countries. Um, and if you're not sure, go with the status quo. <laughs> I didn't feel educated enough to vote to leave it. So basically you just voting for safety more than anything else? Yeah. So far, you think it's worked or it hasn't worked? Um, I don't think we will be able to tell until Theresa May is negotiating us So far, you have confidence in what she's doing right now? I think of all the people that could have led us through this, she seemed like the most stable. And you still believe that? Or you've changed your mind since? No, I haven't changed my mind. Um, I'm not sure. For something that I wasn't sure about, she seems pretty confident in what we're supposed to be doing. So. What about the others? Jeremy or anybody else? Jeremy Corbyn. Initially, I had faith that he might do some good, but so far he's just divided the party that I voted for. Um, and yeah, he seemed pro Brexit, so um, I don't have any faith in him. So in the future, you wouldn't vote for him, but you would. In the future, I might, if he proved to do something that I thought was good, but so far he's yet to do that. <laughs> what would you like to expect? What would you expect from a um, referendum? What the England should put, um, say we want? Do they have to go and put their ten points across? What would you, what would you want out of those ten points to contain? Do you would like better, um, you know, barrier? Yeah, sure, immigration. Sure, sure. I else? think. Uh, People should still be able to move between the countries. Uh, I think people should still be able to come over here and vice versa. Uh, I think that, uh, I don't know, I think we should still be able to trade with the other countries. I think uh, we should still relay information about terrorist threats and everything like that. Um, that's pretty much all I got. <laughs> I have all those concerns. Which one is your major? Is it terrorism, um, back and forth, immigration? I think immigration in the sense that if we do what Donald Trump does, then we're just spreading hatred. I think people should be able to move. And yeah, okay, there might be a problem with resources, but that's a deeper rooted problem. I don't think that's related to immigration. I think the country needs to integrate people rather than make them the enemy. So if Theresa was doing Donald Trump's um, approach, would that be a good or would that be bad? I would be terrible. I think that would be absolutely terrible. So what would you do in that situation? Would you vote again? I would move countries. <laughs> what would I vote for? Um, I'd vote against her. Uh, so far, if she doesn't approach anything like Donald Trump, you keep you keep confidence. Right? She said something the other day about I oh know I don't even know if she said anything, but if she, if Donald Trump has because I wasn't sure about you know the protest against him coming to the country yeah. about the state visit. I didn't really understand why people were protesting because you shouldn't you know be a hypocrite if he puts a Trump ban on doesn't mean to say we should um, against him. But then I realised he's offended a lot of British Muslims with that Trump ban. And I thought, okay, from that perspective, Theresa May's got to look after people who are potentially at threat. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. But technically, he didn't say a Muslim ban, he said a people ban. He did say a people ban. Um, but the people that stood out from that were Muslims from those countries, right? No, but it's seven countries. The seven countries. Yeah, from those seven countries. But you say Muslim, though. Said people coming through from these seven countries. That's true. But 
But I felt that like Muslims were a bigger threat because that's what came across in the media. Okay. But technically you didn't say that. You just said seven countries. Mm -hmm. Anybody in these seven countries, we're going to um, give you 90 days. Okay, what well, any testing. of those people that are offended? Okay. okay. <laughs> So you reckon that was a bad um, approach by him or a good approach? We're trying to control the people coming in. I think if you if people are no threats to a country, it's completely within your rights as leader of that country to protect your country. But to put a blanket ban from seven countries might not have been the wisest choice. Um, but if someone is a known threat, I totally understand why you wouldn't want them coming into the country. But border control. Yeah. You, don't, you don't want to invite um, Jack the Ripper, knowing that he's Jack the Ripper. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But if you say the whole country of sisters that Jack the Ripper comes from, then I don't really agree with that. That's what I say, screen testing. Once he passed the 90 days and he says this person has, has no history, and they're going to be um, doctors, nurses, they're going to be in jobs in, and stuff like that. He's just taking the best people though. It's the same thing Australia does. <laughs> Exactly, but I don't know how much I agree with that. <laughs> That's good, because it's better to come in and contribute, or is it better to come in and eat from the country without contributing? It's obviously better to come in and contribute, but some people are in a position where they need help, and if we can provide that help, I think it's our responsibility to do so. Okay, so thank you for your time. It's alright. How do you think it's going on the documentary? I don't know, I haven't seen it. What your your contribution so far? Uh, what are we measuring it against? No, it's just a schoolwork. That's all it is. Okay. Um, I don't know. But so far, you look natural. <laughs> this. <laughs> so I got my vegetables. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Mike. Um. So the school documentary. Yeah. What school is that?